Hey there, I'm Michael and this is my review of Kingdom of Air Kingmaker which is this little kind of almost party game. It's a voting game is the key mechanic here and it's voting but with special powers and in this game the king has just died and you are each a court trying to take control of the crown. So you each have three members of your court which represent your lives as well as your victory points and the game will end when only two people have people left in their court. So if you lose all three people from your court, not only have you lost your victory points, you're out of the game. The way a turn will work is you will play a card and as well as your court cards you have an attack card of each other player's colour. So these are what you're using to vote. You also have special power cards. So each player will pick a card to play in secret and everyone has the same special power cards. You have no secrecy here. You know what they've got in their hands, you just can't see what they're playing. Once everyone's picked a card, you then resolve the cards and there's an order of resolution as to how the different cards react. The first card to react is the Jester. So if someone has played the Jester, they'll add this to their court. Now, the special power cards are actually worth points at the end of the game if you keep them in your hand. But if you use them, you won't get the points, except for with ones like the Jester here, who's worth two points in your court, represented by the two by the crown. The next one to be resolved is the battle cards. So all you do is you total up the votes. Whoever has the most votes loses a court member. If you manage to kill someone, so wipe out their last court member, and you were one of the people who voted, then you lay their card down in front of you. That's three points for you at the end of the game. The next card to resolve is the Seer. This will neutralise any attack against you. So if three people voted for you and one person voted for another person, you would not be the person to lose a court member. The person who had the one vote would be instead. You, you saw it coming and avoided it. But once you've used this, that's gone for the rest for the whole game. You have not got it back into your hand. Whereas your voting cards come back into your hand, or your special powers don't. The next one to resolve is the Marshal, and much with the Seer, this will protect you from being attacked, but even better than that, it attacks anyone who attacks you. So if people voted to kill you and you would the majority vote, they instead lose a member of their court. Next is the Gold. If you play the Gold, you're able to buy back one of your special power cards that you've you already used this game, to be able to use it again in a later hand. However, the next to resolve is the Thief. And the Thief stops gold being used. So if you play a Thief, you steal the gold that someone else was using to buy back a card, and instead, you get a card back. Next, we have the Banner. When you play this, it will join your court, and is worth six points in your court. But more importantly, it doubles your voting power, so each time you vote for someone that counts as two votes. That is, until someone plays a fanatic, because the fanatics burn all banners that are out, and those are then destroyed. And that even includes their own banner. So, that's summary of the game. What do I think? Well, art-wise, the box hasn't really got anything to talk about. The art on the cards isn't bad. It's actually quite nice. I quite like it. I just would like to see more variation in the art. You see, all the different colours of cards have the same art. It's just that they're different coloured. I would like to see it so that they are actually different art. That would have been nicer. What about gameplay then? Well, it's voting. That's what this game comes down to. And okay, it's a quick, short game. It's probably the best voting game I've played, but I tend not to like voting as a mechanic. You see, I, I just find voting is a popularity contest and I, it's, it's, it comes down to social awareness and social mindedness. I'm not able to be aware of what other people are going to do, what they're going to vote and have no idea what's going on and yeah I just I don't enjoy social interaction being the key 
thing. There's there's no deduction, there's no information, there's no using of tools there. It is purely, well, who's going to vote for who? How are you meant to know? Um, and that's the problem I have just because I'm not a very socially minded person. Um, however, of all the voting games I have ever played, this one I enjoyed the most. It's quick, it's concise, it's snappy, turns go very quickly, and you can just get a game out of the way, nice and easy, good game to play when you're waiting for other people to arrive at a game night. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as subscribing and sharing the channel with your friends and family. And as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.